Hey guys, it's Micah and today I'm going to be teaching you about the note length MIDI effect in Ableton Live. So I've got a project open over here and I've got this grand piano in your browser under MIDI effects you see note length, you can choose presets, but I'm going to just pull through an empty one. So this note length MIDI effect can change the note lengths of your MIDI notes. And to show you how it works, I'm just going to drag this clip over. Alright, so under trigger you've either got note on or note off. When trigger is set to note on, then your MIDI note will trigger like you played it or programmed it into your computer, i.e. it'll sound when the note on instruction gets sent, like now. I'm just going to put the metronome on so you can hear it. Now if I change the trigger to note off, you can hear against the metronome that is now playing on the off beat. And that's because when trigger is set to note off, then the note actually only triggers when it gets the note off command. So here it would be at this line. You may have noticed that when I changed things to note off, I got these three extra buttons. When you've got trigger set to note on, they're grayed out. You can still move them, but it does nothing. So let me just talk about these two functions that you get with note on. So you can either change the mode to time or sync, and this just changes the values in which you change the note length. So under sync mode, you are syncing the length of the notes to your tempo. So this would mean your notes are a quarter note length, and a quarter note length with a tempo of 120 BPM, and a 4-4 bar would be one beat, so half a second. If you put the mode under time, then you can see you can change the length of the note with respect to milliseconds, and if you go high enough, you can change it with respect to seconds. So 500 milliseconds over here, I can just type it in, should give me the same note length as a quarter note in sync mode if I'm in a 4-4 bar with 120 BPM. Okay, and the gate value here defines the percentage value of the note length that the note should be held for. So at 100% length, the note's going to be held for 100% of its length. So basically it would be like this gate function doesn't even exist. But now if I change this to 50%, then my MIDI note would now only be half the length of the current length. So in this case it would be an eighth note, because it's supposed to be a quarter note, but we only want half that length. That would be the same as 100% of an eighth note. Now if the gate is set to 200%, it means the note is now going to be twice its length. It's going to be 200% of the length. And 200% of this eighth note would be a quarter note. Alright, now when we change trigger to note off, we have those functions as well, and they work just like I explained. However, we've got these three new functions, your release velocity, your decay time, and your key scale. Okay, so your release velocity over here is also called your on-off balance in the manual and in your info view on the left. And this determines the velocity of the output note. So if you've got a velocity that starts at 1 and your release velocity is set to 33%, then your velocity of your MIDI note is going to decay over a specific amount of time, which we're going to talk about just now, and it's going to end at a 33% velocity of what it started with. If your MIDI keyboard doesn't support MIDI note or velocity, you can just set this parameter to zero, it won't mean a thing. So my velocity is at 100, and it stays there, I don't have anything to decay the velocity. But now with this note length function, by the time the note ends, it's going to be at 33% of 100. So your decay time determines the amount of time taken it'll get there. So if I play, the quicker the decay time. the quicker it hits this release velocity. Okay, now key scale. This one's a bit tricky to explain, especially since the manual actually explains it incorrectly. So this info view technically says that notes above C3 will be made shorter and notes below C3, the pitch, will be made longer, but that is not the case. What actually happens is that this key scale changes the release of the note. So I've got a MIDI clip with a high note, that's two bars long, and a low note. That's two bars long. Now I've set the note length to trigger off. So remember it's only going to trigger here because it's a note off. It's almost quiet. After two bars, but this low note... Even after three bars you can still hear it. So it's a bit of a weird one. It has very specialist uses which I've never needed. But for the sake of keeping this tutorial thorough, I did want to cover it. 
So if you want to learn about other MIDI effects, just subscribe or check the playlist out. You might learn about some effect that you've never used before, and I will see you soon in the next one.